In my opinion, one of the greatest things about being in the Apple ecosystem is AirDrop. If I have this image and I want to get it over to my iPhone, I can just go to AirDrop, I can select my phone, and I can accept it, and I'm done. If I was signed into the same iCloud account, I wouldn't have even had to confirm it, it would just send it for me. And it works with big files too. This file is 839 megabytes. If I go ahead and share via AirDrop, and there we go, select the iPhone, this is gonna transfer in just a couple seconds. So being able to transfer these files between your devices, I'm just showing Mac to iPhone, but it works iPhone to iPad, iPad to Mac, like any direction you wanna go, it all works great. And for my money is the best way to transfer basically anything between your devices that are close together. Now, if you have an Android phone or a Windows device in the mix, then things get more complicated. So let me show you a solution to this problem that's actually pretty darn solid. So if you go to snapdrop.net, you can just load it in any browser, any operating system you want, doesn't matter. I have it open here on my Mac and now it says open Snapdrop on other devices to send files. So any other device on my same Wi-Fi network, I'll go to an Android phone here, load it up, and you can see these two devices can see each other now. So if I wanna send that image, I'll just drag it onto this button here and it's going to transfer. It's not as fast as AirDrop, but it is totally getting the work done. So there it is, it's finishing up and I can save it to my device. Uh, this is a duplicate, but there we go. I was able to save it to my Android phone. If I wanna go the other direction as well, I can tap it from here. I can go ahead and we'll send the same file back. So we're transferring this over to the Mac and we'll see a pop-up here in a second on the Mac where I have the file, I can ignore it or I can save it. I can even uncheck this to just automatically download it from this device in the future. So I'll say save, I want to allow downloads and there you go. So now it's in my downloads folder. And that's really great. It all just works kind of like AirDrop. Now, a couple caveats. One thing, here's that large file, 839 megabytes. This is gonna be maybe too much for SnapDrop to handle. It will technically do it, and you can see the progress bar has started and it's going to go around and it will transfer the file eventually, but it's so much slower that you may as well not even do it in most cases. It's very, very slow compared to AirDrop. I don't know if that's a bottleneck in my Wi-Fi network, if this is something I could address, but it's definitely much slower than the AirDrop that I just did between my Apple devices. But again, in a pinch, could definitely work. Also, I did mention they have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, so you can't do this randomly with someone on the street. You have to do it ideally in your own home or in a workplace or some situation where you're both on the same Wi-Fi network for them to be able to see each other. But yeah, it's pretty darn great and it's a really great workaround in a pinch because I've had really annoying workflows to transfer these things, um, just files in between my non-Apple devices, and this is going to really help me with that. So I wanted to show that off today really quick. Thank you so much for watching.